Hi there people, I'm going to show you this little electric chainsaw I made using an old drill, a broken drill and some random parts and pieces and an old chain and bar from an old chainsaw. There's not much to it really, but uh, just a drill with a broken handle that still ran properly and handle from a motorcycle and brake handle regular light switch and the sprocket from a from a chainsaw I cut the bell part off of the the centrifugal clutch part of it and just kept the the sprocket welded it onto the old drill motor after I took the, the chuck off the motor. And uh, yeah, it's pretty straightforward. It has no no oiler on it, so you have to keep a spray can or a squirt can handy to spray the bar with oil every now and then. Or sometimes I fill a coffee can with an inch or two of oil and just dunk the end of the dunk the end of the chain in there and spin it and it lubes it up. You may wonder why the the switch for turning on the motor is so complicated. But uh, that's because I used to have another drill in there and the uh, the handle from that drill came up here and this push rod actually pushed the trigger on that on the drill. But that other drill motor gave out the gear stripped out so I had to put this other motor in there and uh <laughs> You can shock yourself here if you touch it, so I might cover that up yet, but uh, I'll try cut here and see if it works. Not the speediest saw you've ever seen, but it works. Ideally, you'd want a faster motor because what happens here is this turns a little bit too slow and then the teeth kind of fill up with with wood. You can see it's doing it down there. And, uh, and then it doesn't cut very fast anymore. A faster chainsaw or one with a gas motor will kind of spin fast enough to sling that wood out of there. But... Uh, it works, give you an idea or some ideas if you want to build your own.